Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balcom. Today's tutorial is going to be how to paint the Sons of Horus in the background of the Horus vs the Emperor picture. If you'd like to support the channel, our coffee and Patreon page are linked below. Now on to the video. So the Sons of Horus fellas on the shoulder pad, I'm intending to paint them up like this stand-up bearer from a 30k Sons of Horus army. You can see there's four or five figures in the background there. The first colour that we're going to use is Vallejo Modeler Rust. I'm going to use this to do the trim on the armour. Now if you go back and have a look at that Sons of Horus chap that I painted up, that is what the army tends to be. I've used the Model Air Rust on the armour trim to give it that sort of dark, kind of bronzy look. So I'll be going over all the armour trim and the details and things on the miniatures with the Model Air Rust. Getting those details in place. So when you look at the 30k miniatures, they tend to have quite a few different details and things like that on them. Some of them will have armour trim on both shoulder pads, some will have it on one shoulder pad. And there's a few little different details and features and things like that on them. So you can put this layer on in a lot of different places. You might see me paint a few little blocks here and there which aren't actually on the miniature and a bit further away. That's because I'm painting on sort of like the little power pack things that you have on the chain axes and power axes so just speeding through this adding the model air rust to all the areas that we want to have those little bronzy kind of details next up we're going to use some Citadel Sons of Horus Green going to start adding a few more little details in areas where they weren't initially sketched on so you've got this guy's arm here put on like a small power pack just off to the left there and this guy's going to be holding the power axe or chain axe so just painted his arm in there where he's going to be holding the haft of the weapon a lot of them tend to have that kind of Mark III kind of groin guard hanging down as well, so I've put that on. Almost like a ceramite loincloth. I'm going to paint on the leg here, so he's standing on something. And paint this one as though that leg is going behind whatever he's standing on. Just going to fill in all the details where we've put that model air rust to put the trim and different things like that on. We're now going to go around and fill all this on. I will notice that I haven't done any power packs on the back of these chaps at the moment. I'm concentrating on the parts that are at the front of them, so the figures, and then at the end we'll just be putting a few little bits of the power packs behind the heads and the shoulder pads. Once we come to do Horus, there will be a few bits that we're touching up on the guys who are nearest him, I'm sure. Or we'll possibly overpainting small parts of them when we're adding on details for Horus. I'm going to use some Citadel Nuln Oil and this is going to be to shade in some of the details on the miniatures or on the figures I should say 
Sons of Horus guys who I'm painting up here, like the standard at the start, have this kind of chest panel on the front. They don't tend to have the actual red gem on the front of them, but since they did in the original image, that's the kind of thing that I'm going for with that on the front. It just adds a nice little bit of colour to these guys. But we're using this known oil just to add in the details so that you can see where those sections are. Slightly off camera, unfortunately. So they tend to have this piece on the front of the helm, which is almost like... I think it's a Corinthian helm, is it? Where you have the nose piece coming down quite far. It goes up over the eyes. Just that particular section of it doesn't have the bits coming down the sides. But it does kind of have like this armour plate that covers like the nose, goes straight down to the bottom of the mask, or the bottom of the helmet. Goes up over the eyes, sort of like just up to the top of the forehead. Like so. The next part, we're going to be using a little bit of Vallejo White. We're going to mix that with some Sons of Horus Green. We're going to start highlighting the armour plates, as you would do on your miniatures. So if you watch any of the other videos, you'll see that the lighting I go for is always as though the lighting is coming from above. So that's what we're going to be trying to paint up on these guys. So you want to be doing it as though the light is coming down from above, so the tops of those pauldrons will have more light than the bottoms of the pauldrons. The same on the helm and on the, say, the top of the feet. If the thigh is reaching forward, like that guy who's standing on something, then you will have more of a highlight on the top of his leg than on the other leg like highlights on the armour, on the chest as well where that extra kind of breastplate sticks out and the extra part on the helm is going to be more highlighted than the sections underneath the helm now The Sons of Horus fella you saw at the start there, the standard they're painted up in a slightly different style to how I paint normally as I wanted them to look as though they'd been put through the mincer a little bit and they're all battered and scuffed and their armour's chipped and burned so there's people with injuries and that kind of thing so the whole army looks like it's been fighting for a considerable amount of time I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel my fist on red. I'm just going to paint this across the bottom of the shoulder pad here. Now I'm not too sure whether or not to just join that up and have it as a bit of a background colour going down to Sanguinius or whether to have it as the body of a Blood Angel who's lying next to Sanguinius. Not quite decided on what to do for that one yet so time will tell. Any thoughts on that? Just sing out in the comments. Just going to do the eyes in red on those chaps too. And return to the highlights that we've just been adding to the guys on the left there. It's that time when the cat comes and harasses me. And 
Next we're using some more Vallejo white mixed into the previous mix to lighten that up. I'm going to use this to add another highlight to the armour. How much as you would do when you're painting the armour on a miniature, you'd be adding this highlight to the bits that would be more raised and giving more light to those areas. So paint up his hand there as though he's holding the haft of an axe. As you can see you're just highlighting the top edges and highlighting the previous layer of highlights just to make them stand out that little bit more. Give them a bit of a 3D look and a bit more colour. So always if you're painting this on you want to take more time with it you can get it looking a lot lot smoother this is just the basic principle of it showing you how i'm working on the ones for one of my nights now i'm going to be using citadel agrax earth shade i'm going to use this just to tone down the shine on the model air rust You will still have that shine on there, but not as much. It will be dulled down, you'll just get that nice, slightly metallic bronze look. I'm going to use some Citadel Mephist on red, and we're going to start working on those plumes on the top of the hats, and also the eyes of Horus on the front of the chest there. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm just going to highlight the bottom left corner of each of these gems. Let's give them that first bit of the reflective light look. So we'll be doing about maybe a third of the disc of red there with this. I'm going to use some Citadel Wild Rider red. We're going to do about half of the area that we just used the Evil Sun Scarlet on. If you do put a bit too much on, that's no problem. You can just use a little bit of the Evil Sun Scarlet and the Fist on Red just to get that back to the amount that you'd like for it. You can also use this to do a little bit of a highlight on the lens, the eyes. I'm going to use some Vallejo Black and we're quickly going to do the kind of vertical pupil from the Eye of Horus and also the joins between the armour plates we're just going to put those in black too to give them a bit more definition.
I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel Wild Rider Red, mix a little bit of Vallejo White with it. We're just going to do a smaller highlight on the bits we've just been highlighting. So again, you want to cover maybe 50% of the previous highlight. I'm going to use some pure Vallejo white. We're just going to put the final reflective spots of light on there. Don't tend to wipe the paint on my hand like that. I tend to wipe it on the painting handle, but as this covers the paint handle completely, I had nowhere to wipe it. So unfortunately, the back of the thumb it is. We're putting a little spot in the top right of each gem and the tiny thin line on the previous highlight on the bottom left. And this will just give the Eye of Horus gems that nice reflective look as though they're catching a the light. I'm going to use some Vallejo Black. Just going to pick out a few little bits. Shape some of the armour and things like that. If there's any little bulges of highlight or paint that's been missed off or anything like that. Putting some of the seals around the top of the legs too. Next up, a tiny little bit of German grey. I'm going to use this on the seals a little bit and also on the after the weapons that the chaps are holding. It's like a thin line across the top of that where it's catching the light, nothing too much. Use a tiny little bit of Citadel lead belcher. We're just going to paint on a few little studs onto the armour. Now they tend to have these on some of the lower legs, some of the pauldrons, some of the knee pads, and you do tend to have a couple on some of the helms too. Just adding these on with a little bit of a spot for each one. Also doing the exhaust for the power packs. Like so. And that is the finished pauldron so far. Just got the background and Horus to do, and possibly that Blood Angel, but happy with how it's going so far. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content, and you'd like to support us, our coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.